Hi everyone. In this video, what we're going to cover is the dashboard section of the Cash Cow Pro tool. Uh, and I'm just going to explain all of the different columns and features on this particular page. So if you go to dashboard, what you'll see here is first of all, at the top, based on the time period you've selected the sales. So in this example, we're using last 30 days, the, the sales of all your products have been $4,496.25. This is an example account just to run you through how this works. So it will show you then the number of units ordered, the number of orders, the average price that you sold out on Amazon, the gross profit. This is simply uh, the Amazon price. So let's say you're selling for $10. The FBA fees is $5, so 10 minus 5 equals $5. That's the gross profit. It's how much you get after taking away just the Amazon fees. So if you click this little I, it shows you exactly how that's calculated. So the 4496.25 minus FBA fees gives a gross profit of 1971.04, which is equivalent to 44% of the sales figure take away the landed cost so that's basically how much the product cost you including freight and that leaves you with your net profit which is the next column here so it's just a quick snapshot of how your account's doing and below as well by SKU you can see how each product has done too so you've got the product name the SKU how much that product sold in the last 30 days how many units were ordered how many orders the average price of that product the, pro the gross profit, the net profit, you can also see the FBA fees for the item, which is taken out here, and the promotion fees, if there was any promotion, how much inventory you got left, and what your BSR is. So it's just a tool to have a really quick snapshot of how your account's doing. You can then go into detail for a particular product by clicking it, uh, and then you can see the individual dashboard, as well as additional information for that particular product and we'll go over that in another video in the product section video so if i now click 60 days this will all update and you can see how this how this account's been doing and how your products have been doing by SKU. you can also hit by day to see on each day your total for your account so you can see how things are trending how you've been doing if you want to see it as a chart, you can also hit by chart and it will show you the chart version too. Let's go for the last 30 days and it will render that chart for you. So it just gives you an overview of how your account's been doing. You can see the charts, you can see the tables, everything by individual products just by clicking on that product. This is for your total account. So you can see using the chart, you can get a good picture that it's trending upwards and growing. So it's just a snapshot. What we've also included on this particular page of the dashboard is the current Amazon time. Now it's 5.50 a.m. If it's 5.50 a.m. and under today you haven't sold much, it's because no one's awake yet. So sometimes we have uh, customers write in and say, my account's not showing many sales. The reason is, is because it's 2 a.m. in Amazon and Amazon counts from midnight to midnight, 24 hour period to tell you what the sales are for that day. So if you sell something at 11 p.m., it goes into the previous day. If it's now 1 a.m., you haven't sold anything, your account's going to show zero, even though two hours ago you sold something. Last 24 hours will show you from the time right now to 24 hours before how much was sold. Yesterday is from midnight to mid midnight for the previous time period. So that ended six hours ago approximately. Okay, and so what you can also do is if you select say last 30 days you can click show previous period and it will show you how you did in the 30 days before as well so last 30 days i sold 4496 of this item which is up 71 percent on the 1307.33 on average and you can see these numbers sorry that 30 days didn't fully uh, update the percentage. You can see now that it's it's accurate, actually. It's on properly. Um, the 1,314.70, my sales have increased 14% in the last seven days to 153487. I've gone from 171 units in the previous seven days, and this week I'm doing 201 units. So everything's increasing 
prices down a little it's just to give you a snapshot of how you're doing and that's pretty much the dashboard you can then go down into individual products in detail and we'll cover that in the products section.